Hey, what's going on y'all? So welcome to another NVIDIA Omniverse Machinima tutorial. Now in this video, I'm gonna briefly go over the sequencer. I'm gonna be using some assets you can get in Machinima so you can follow along with this video here. So with that being said, let's go ahead and open up an HDRI by going to Skies and just pick whatever you want. I'll choose to abandon parking lot, it's pretty nice. And then we'll go back to our sequencer. Now, if you don't see this, go to Windows, extensions and type in sequencer delete everything and type in sequencer and then close this and if you still can't see it make sure that it's actually enabled right here perfect all right so this is your sequencer right here you have a couple of buttons you have a camera cut track right here which we'll be using here shortly you can add shot track acid track or audio track if you want to you have a play and then the frame by frame left and right you have a loop frames per second and if you want to go to an exact frame, you can type it in here. So on the right of that, you have the stream audio option. You have a movie capture, which is pretty much the same thing as your movie capture right here. And then you have some settings right here. Uh, if you're having issues or having glitch in the sequencer, you can redraw the sequencer and see if that'll fix. Although with the newest update, I haven't had to do with this too much. And on the bottom of that, you're going to see your timeline from 0 frame to 900. And if you don't see 900 here, you can just change it to whatever you want. Usually by default, it's 0 to 0. So you really don't have much animation in there. So go ahead and change it to whatever you want. We'll keep it at 900. All right, next step is we'll go to our local host now in Omniverse right here. Make sure the content is right here. All right, go to our local host in video. We'll go to our assets, Machinima. NVIDIA Soul, Characters, Soulette first. Now there are a couple of ways on how we can import her into the scene. We can drag and drop her to the stage, the viewport, but what we'll do is just drag her straight to the sequencer. Perfect. Now that's going to create a clip. And I believe, yeah, she's down here. So I'll press W and move her up. So she is in our viewport. Press E to rotate. Now these characters are really high quality, although I wish they came in black because, man, oof, that would look so cool. Alright, so the next thing we're going to do is create or drop in some animations. So if I go back to the folder right here, we're going to go to Soul 3 Sequence. Soulette has her own, so that's good. And you can use whatever you want, I'll just use a 56 right here. Now I can drag and drop this now to that clip in the sequencer. And now she's going to animate. And we'll move this to the left to zero, so it starts at zero frame. You can see she's doing some kind of yoga or whatever. That looks kind of cool. And additionally, if you want to add more animations, you just drag it. And it'll bring it to the next clip. Just like so. Look at that. Oh, I like that better. Whoa, that's wicked. That was really cool. So you got that going. Some really nice mocap. Those are clean mocap, by the way. Um, so we have two animations now, which is good. And what I'll do is I'll create another character, the male version of this. And I'll drag and drop him here. Okay, so now we have Soul, and I'm going to move him to the left. And, yep, he's down here, down there too. So press W, and now he's just in a T-pose. And what I'll do is kind of just bring him up. So they're kind of the same size, like so. Okay. And you guessed it, to bring animations to him is really the same thing. I'll go to the random extra and you'll see Soul Mark 2 dance and drag that. Now he's going to be dancing. Now we have two people animating and I'll just kind of put them in the frame. Pretty easy stuff. All right, so the next thing I'm going to show you is how you can create two cameras to kind of create some cut tracks between the two characters. Now to do this, we'll just kind of frame soul first and then go to click this camera, create camera from view. And then I'm going to click it again, go to perspective and then switch it to soulette. And then similarly, click on this camera, create camera from view. Now that's going to create two cameras for us, camera and camera 01. Now, with that being said, I'm going to scroll to the left and then I'm going to click add shot track, add shot track. I'm going to drag the first camera into the first track and then I'll drag the second camera into the second track. 
And what's cool about this is this number right here is actually the end of that frame or that clip. So if we want the next one to play, it has to be 178. And just like so. So if we click this button right here, this is gonna toggle our cameras. So now we have soul. If I scroll to the right, boom, we have Solette. And that is how you can easily create cameras and switch between characters. Similar to an NLE or After Effects, whatever is on top will get played first. Okay. And again, if you want to enable the depth to field, let's change the app stop and change this like 300. Now you have some depth to field in there. Or if you want, again, you can use the autofocus. There you go. That's better. It's dancing. And it's going to switch to Solette. Doing some karate ninja stuff. All right, so that pretty much wraps it up for this video. I hope to see you all in the next one.